They call him Bunny now. Is there a Kate Freeman in the audience? Kate, how are you? Nice to see you. Good to see Where you. Where are you from, Kate? Greenville, South Carolina. Greenville, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And, what, and uh, you in New York uh, visiting? Uh-huh. And what do you do in Greenville? Um, well, I don't do anything in Greenville. Mm -hmm. I'm a student in Cambridge now. Oh, oh I see. You're going to school here. Uh-huh. Or up in uh, Boston. Uh-huh. Yeah. And what are you studying up there? Um, not much. <laughs> well, it's certainly money well spent for the folks, isn't it? Not much. Uh, what do you want to do when you get out of college, Kate, which may be pretty soon now? I'm not sure. You're not sure? No. <laughs> the kids today are so serious, aren't they? Uh, uh, how old are you, Kate? I'm 20. 20, and um, ever had a part-time job? <laughs> yeah. What, were you, what was the last job you had? Um, I worked at a marina. Worked at a marina? Uh -huh. Doing what? Um, shoot. <laughs> Uh, all right, Kate, we're <clears throat> kind of in the bonus round now. The questions are a little, a little more difficult here. Uh, let's go on, Kate, to our, uh, to our brush, your brush with uh, stupidity. Stupidity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hard to believe, though, that you'd have one of those. <laughs> of it. All of it. Uh, well, you look great. You look, you look summery. That looks very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Now, yeah. uh, tell me about your brush. Okay. Well, it was Thanksgiving Day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and... I was with my brother and his wife, uh -huh. and we went to the wrong house <laughs> for Thanksgiving dinner. Who's we were house? supposed to go to my aunt, uh -huh. and <laughs> we went to the across the street house, and <laughs> we walked on in and said, "Half Thanksgiving, how y'all doing? Smells great." And my brother walked up and kissed the hostess and everything, <laughs> and we headed towards the kitchen to sit down for yeah. dinner. And then we all looked at each other and realized we'd never seen each other before. And then. Yeah. <laughs> We weren't related or anything like that, so. Yeah. That's real deadbeat behavior. <laughs> Did, uh, were they nice enough? Uh, to they were real nice, because they were confused, too. I mm -hmm. mean, they thought... <laughs> yeah. They thought that um, we were their daughter's friends. Mm -hmm. And so. I see. So you, how long did you stay, or did you just About leave? 10, 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes? <laughs> and then you just went right across the street across to the proper. The street, okay. And, and everybody over there was happy to see you? Yeah. All right. Uh, what do we have for Kate, Bill? Uh, the t-shirt. Oh, well, we'll see if we can't get you a sponge, okay. but this is an actual, this is an authentic. This is true? Today Show t-shirt, yeah. <laughs> this is the kind that Jane and Bryant and Willard all wear when they're... <laughs> just before they turn in in the bunk. Nice to see you, Thank Kate. You. Good luck to you in school there. <laughs> okay. well, you may need it. All right. <laughs> More than anyone else, my next guest has helped restore the saxophone to the prominent place it held in early rock and roll. He is, of course, the big man in Bruce Springsteen's E Street Band and the leader of his own Red Bank Rockers. Please welcome Clarence Clemens. <laughs>
Now we're getting somewhere. You know it, baby. <laughs> Could you be here every afternoon about this time? <laughs> well, I tell you, let's come with me. Uh, all right, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Uh, that sounded great. And Paul, you sounded terrific as well. Nice yeah. job on the show. How about that big man? How about this band? How about that big man? Now, is it true that uh, the best saxophone reeds in the world come from Cuba? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, I think it's the climate. You know, since we broke the diplomatic relationships with Cuba, yeah. you know, all we win uh, players have really suffered. Now, where do, you, where do you get your reeds now? Well, they come from France, uh -huh. where the climate isn't as stable. Now, wh what, is, uh, what is the reed made of? Cane. Yeah. So made of a, a high-quality cane, and uh, when we broke off the diplomatic re relationships with Cuba, we didn't get the good cane anymore. Yeah. But since then... <laughs> What, what kind of audience you got? Who's guy? Who I don't know. Guys? I just, uh, I'm just a I love substitute. It. I don't know. So, yeah, a bunch of musicians out there. I guess. Have you? Uh, <laughs> all right. Have you? Uh, have you tried to, to uh, sneak some into the country? <laughs> well, we got some cigars, but no, no yes, cane. No, no. cigars. But I said, we, we, we did find uh, since since I, I I made this note publicly once before, and uh, since then the. Uh, the Lavaz company has sent me some reads that are so uh, fantastic. Oh, good. Really, really better than the Cuban game. Well, that's, that's yeah. good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, what, uh, is this a uh, tenor saxophone? This is a Selmer tenor saxophone. Yeah. This is uh, my other woman. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? is, uh, is, is that instrument used in any symphonic orchestras anywhere? Certainly, yes. Yeah? Yes. The saxophone was, uh, was uh, invented for actually a marching band that sat down. John Philip Sousa yeah. uh, during those days, they sat down and conducted. Yeah. That's when the saxophone was really what it was invented for, the Marine Corps band. Yeah. But uh, since then, we have uh, taken it from uh, from the parades to the different kind yeah. of parades. Yeah. How long after you play it, like you just did, does it take for it to cool off? About two. <laughs> <laughs> it never cools off. I always leave it on summer. To it like sounded... <laughs> We're going to do a commercial, Clarence, okay, and we'll come back. We have plenty of time to talk with Clarence right. Clemens, so come on back, folks. Clarence Clemens. How's the, how's the tour going? It's going it's amazingly going well. Fantastic. Yeah, it's yeah. going fantastic. It's going fantastic. And it's, uh, it's, it's great to see the energy that's, that's being transmitted, uh, that's sent out, and it's coming back from, from these wonderful audiences that we've been playing for. <coughs> now, are you right in the middle of the tour? How much longer is it going? Uh, forever. Yeah. Now, we're going <laughs> <we're gonna> to be <laughs> out for, I think, an, uh, for another year and a half. You know, <laughs> with a few breaks and uh, here and there. They're uh, talking about going overseas as and well. We're going to go to uh, Europe, and then we're going to yeah. go to the South Pacific, and go to Japan and Australia. Now, when, when you're when you're traveling uh, with uh, Bruce Springsteen, what mm -hmm. becomes of your own group? Well, they are doing other things now. As a matter of fact, Johnny and the Rockers are going to be going out. So you guys watch for Johnny and the Rockers. They're going to be coming out. Uh, doing some gigs uh, while I'm out with Bruce. But not know? with you. Oh, no, without me, it'll yeah. be Johnny and the Rockers. Uh -huh. Johnny is my vocalist, mm -hmm. and so it'll be Johnny and the Rockers, and, uh, and they'll be waiting for the return of the big man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, let me ask you this. You sure. have your own group. Yes. Which is, uh, that's got to be the ultimate it desire is, for most musicians, right? Desire, right? So, and now you're out with probably the greatest yeah. rock and roll act of the 19, what do you, <laughs> 70s and 80s. Yeah. So, which do you prefer? Well, you know, I, I look at it as like having your cake and eating it, too. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm one of the luckiest people in the world to be able to do this. It's just a wonderful thing to be able to go out. The responsibility that you have on your own is, is tremendous. But then to, to be able to shed all that responsibility and just go out and have fun while Bruce worries about the other things. You know, yeah. like, you know, what's this guy doing over here? This guy over here? Is this okay? You know, I don't have to worry about that. Just go yeah. out and, and play my heart out and have a good time. Yeah. It's, it's just wonderful. It's a, it's a wonderful release. You, did you, uh, uh, is it true that you played some professional football? I played semi-pro football with a team called the New Jersey Generals. <laughs> <laughs> 
this, this was before before we built the, the Meadowlands uh -huh. and stuff. Well, this was a long time ago. We used to play at Wall Stadium. It's a little race car track. Yeah. So in the middle of the races, there was a football game on the center of the court. <laughs> what position did so you play? So if you don't play? go off in the long passes, you might get run over. <laughs> <laughs> what position was it? I played the uh, offensive line. I played mm -hmm. offensive center. Mm -hmm. And did you entertain notions of making it to the NFL? Or I really did. I, I, I was uh, playing with, uh, before I went to Jersey Generals, the Cleveland Browns had a farm team in Newark called the Newark Bears who moved to Orlando, Florida. And uh, instead of making a move, I stayed in New Jersey. Yeah. You know, I, I drank the water that I couldn't leave. It's, you know? a, it's a good thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you also, you were a counselor. I worked as eight years as a counselor at a boys' home, a reform school in New Jersey, mm -hmm. a, a Jamesburg uh, Training School for Boys. And it was a, a very rewarding job, and uh, I, I, I love it. You know, I love working with kids and, 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 uh, and showing them the shortcomings and uh, their downfalls and, and doing the best you can to create a, a, a human being that's going to be able to function in society. Yeah. But, uh, you know, uh, the red tape and your hands are tied, you know, behind the bureaucratic society that we live yeah. in. We live in. And it, gets too t it got too tough. And after eight years, I just gave up. And yeah. I said, I'm going to go out and uh, find another facet, another way, another vehicle to, uh, to talk to kids. And, and rock and roll is it for me. Yeah. Somebody had to be the best.